Okay, knock throughs. What you need to do is to get some acryls and strong boys. Make some cement gaps in the brickwork. In this case, we went higher because there was an arch that we needed to take out and rebuild. So once you've made your uh, cement gaps and you've placed your strong boy, which is that, and your acro, which is that, which is uh, on a solid base, of course. Make sure if you're on a wooden floor, put a piece of timber across the joist so it doesn't belly straight through the, uh, the floorboards. Prop each section up. In this case, of uh, a span of about 10 foot, we've got four of them all holding the brickwork on one side and also holding the brickwork on the opposite side. Once you've held it up, you can knock the wall down. Once the wall's been uh, knocked down, then you place your steel in. Your steel needs to be on pad stones, which are solid concrete blocks with the uh, steel resting on it on either side, making sure that the level, obviously going to be bricked in at the sides, bolted together in this case, three bolts, and then obviously once the steel's in, you can brick it up, placing slate to wedge it as you go in in each section of the uh, the joints just to give it a bit more strength and once it's bricked up then that's it you're clear you'll be able to take the props out and the acros out letting it set obviously for about a day maybe a day and a half depends on your mix a good strong mix in it and then you're ready to do the floor move the radiator and do all the plastering next stage will be this section a few pieces of steel Horizontal and vertical.